Hi everyone, welcome to Bikini Design Club. On today's short video, I will be demonstrating how you can add fullness to your bust dart. So as a starting point, we are going to be using our swimsuit pattern Maria on a size 8. Our sizes are drafted for a C cup pattern and today I'm going to be changing this pattern so that I have uh, more depth on my darts. So I'm going to make a bust adjustment so that it fits my mother's bust. She's a size 8 on the rest of the, of the swimsuit, however, I need to adjust the bust dart area. And so we have the bust point here on the pattern and we need to mark the apex, which is further away from the bust point in this pattern, two centimeters. So if I draw a line from the seam allowance to my bust point, and I measure two centimeters, I will find my apex on this pattern. Okay, so this is the apex on my pattern here. And now I'm gonna draw a line perpendicular to the, to the fold line going through here. I'm gonna draw another one going to the apex to one third of my sleeve of my underarm edge which you know if you measure more or less you don't need to be very accurate if you measure more or less it will be more or less here and I will also do a line parallel to the grain line to the fold line coming down but to start I have my waistline and I'm gonna cut my pattern on my waistline because the changes that we are gonna do is for the full bust ad adjustment which will be on the top part. So I'm gonna separate the top part of the swimsuit from the bottom and to do so I'm just going to do a line going over my waist area and I'm gonna cut my pattern there. Now let's draw a line parallel to our uh, perpendicular to our grain line to our fold line the front which would be here Another one for our under the arm seam, which would be here. And another one coming parallel to the grain line, all the way down to the waist. Now grab your paper scissors. I'm sure you have noticed that for most pattern alterations, we remove the seam allowance, we do the alterations, and then we add the seam allowance. However, on this pattern, we don't need to do it, and to do the full bust adjustment, we don't need to do that. So I'm gonna start by cutting this one here, all the way through until my apex. And I'm gonna keep cutting through here until I, let me just put a little bit of tape here. I'm gonna cut all the way through here until I reach the seam allowance and then I'm gonna stop and leave a little bit of paper uncut and I'm gonna cut from the opposite side again, just leaving a little bit of paper without cutting so that we have a pivot point. Now I'm gonna cut this one here, all the way through, until I reach my apex. That's it. Now this part here, what we want to do is pivot this side here 
until I, I'm, I need to cut this a little bit more. Even if you cut through, it's not a problem, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the line here from the center front and I'm gonna tape this to the table so it doesn't move. And I'm also going to tape this part here. So this part here stays stable. And now the only part that is going to move is this one, okay? And I'm, I'm gonna grab a piece of paper, of white paper to put underneath because we will need to have a new placement here for our um, dot. We still need to cut through this line here, which would be the center of our dart. Don't cut through the paper, leave a little bit in the end there. Well, mine had... <laughs> I need to staple this here, wait. Because I use my paper pattern was sticked together. So besides cutting this small bit here and cutting to your seam allowance and from the seam allowance there but leaving a small bit, we also need to cut this line here on the center of our dart. When you cut it, cut until you are almost on the edge of your paper but not through it, okay? So that it has a small connection there as you can see, okay? And now grab a piece of paper so that we can lay underneath this and get our new pattern. So my original pattern is here and I have a piece of paper underneath which I can turn vertically which would be much easier. I'm just gonna draw a line so that my original pattern has references and I'm gonna draw a vertical line and also a print perpendicular line to that one so that I can now get my pattern and place it here just so I know that it is square and perfect and I taped this down to my paper and now I have this part very stable and this part moving around as you can see and now to give you the bust fullness that you want, you will have to have a distance that will be between this here and the new bust apex. And to do this, what I do is I'm going to grab my ruler again. I'm going to do, just as a reference, my original vertical line through the apex, which would be here. And now for my mother, I know that I need to add two and a half centimeters, so a full uh, inch, uh, two and a half centimeters. Yeah, I think it's an inch, yeah. Uh, at two and a half centimeters, so I'm gonna go here, two and a half centimeters, and I draw a parallel line, two and a half centimeters from this one here. And now I just grab this and I align the original pattern on this line vertically of course and I can grab this and staple this in place I'm gonna tape this and this is the new bust dart increased fullness that I did for my mother of course now here you have this chunk here which is not great so of course you need to redraft a smooth curve here which is very easy you can do it just by looking and redrafting a smooth curve and it will be your new seam allowance so that's easy you now have the the bust dart a lot more uh, with a, a huge opening which you didn't have before and of course you have to redraft your seam allowances again but let me show you first of all uh, we are going to grab a little bit of paper. I'm going to put the paper here because I need to still have places where I can draft the, my pattern again. So if I would go and draw a line from my pattern from one edge to the other of my darts, 
I can then measure and see that I have seven centimeters. So half of that is 3.5. And I can go on my apex to my center. And this wheel is just for me to be able to move again the bust point away from the apex. So two centimeters, just like we had before, remember? And now when we, we would have the new darts here, which would be from here to here. This is the new original pattern. Okay, this one. And of course, this one. And now, of course, we need to draw the, um, the seam allowances. Usually my darts are slightly curved on the, out, on, the, on the inside of the darts, like so and like so. They are sl slightly curved. So if you see the pattern, you will see that this line of the seam allowance is also curved because of course it's parallel to this one. So it's easier for me to do it on my computer, but by hand, it's a little bit harder. You can use a curve if you have and try to do it because what we need to do is of course, match the two, the two sides of the dart, right? You need to have the same size. So of course, if I do this one here, I'm going to do the same on this side. And of course, now I'm going to have my seam allowance. So this is where I'm going to cut the new dart. Okay until I reach here. And now the, the depth that we added, it's a lot. We already sorted out that over there and we already sorted out this inside here of the darts. Now we need to solve what we do on the bottom part here. So I cut it through this line here because we are now going to lower this here. So imagine that I do like a perpendicular line going to my waist. I just need to, and I do this one here also, of course, just so that I'm sure that my paper is still on the correct position. And I align the paper on the waistline and on this line here, and of course here, I get a little bit of tape. I put it in place. And now the fullness that you have for the bust dart, you also have on the front part. So the top edge of your swimsuit is a little bit higher than it was before. Of course, this means that you will have to grab your back and measure the size that you have on the total from here to here and here to here. And of course, your back top edge will have to also be adjusted so that the seams are matching. That's kind of obvious, right? So that I will leave, leave it up to you because I think it's simple and you will be able to figure it out. Now, the only thing that I wanted to share is that when I add my bottom part here, you have this that we don't have here, right? So this is just a matter of a little bit of adjustment. When we do that adjustment, I'm gonna give you an example, but this will then depend a little bit on you because you could simply uh, align it here and redraft this line and redraft the curve here, all right? You can cut here, for instance, which I'm gonna do as, as an example, but, but this is a kind of like, you decide where you prefer to do your adjustment for the lower back. And of course, you can check the waist measurements of your uh, individual. And uh, the waist of my mother is a little bit bigger than the original eight size. So this is a good alteration. So I'm gonna grab this one. And this one I will align here, like if it hadn't been cut before. And this here, 
I'm gonna keep here where it was before also so now what we need to do is smoothen this curve so remake this curve another uh, an, uh, again a little bit of paper underneath we retrace this and it will be done let me show you you like to know how to do the full bust adjustment for um, Maria swimsuit you can also do this on other patterns um, and that's it for today girls see you soon bye